Hey there, YouTube buddies. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. I'm gonna move over a little bit so you can see this stuff. So uh, today, what I'm gonna talk to you about, I've got a video from Tim, another video from Tim McCormick from um, Culture Biologics. He was here a week or so ago and did a bunch of videos with us, a bunch of good stuff. And one of the things we did is because, because a lot of y'all use uh, this stuff or maybe this stuff, synthetic nutrients. And you know, here on this show, we're mostly talking about this stuff, but we got a garden store here and we sell a lot of this stuff. A lot of people use this and get excellent results from it, but maybe are curious about how this stuff might work or uh, you know maybe some of this or some of these more natural type inputs so what i asked him is uh how can you you know uh dip your toe into the the more natural inputs to maybe enhance your synthetic regimen and so that's what he's talking about is how to use uh your synthetic stuff and uh, start just slowly working in with some of these things and see how it works for you see if you might want to switch over or maybe just do some sort of hybrid situation so watch this video and i'll talk you after Hey there, back with Tim McCormick. Are you ever going home? No, you can't make me. <laughs> we're doing another video, it's awesome. Here's what we're talking about this time. This stuff. We don't use a lot of this stuff here. We sell it here in the store, but not online. But you know, it's a, what would you call these? Are they, would you just say like salt-based nutrient type mineral? Yeah, what, what? Synthetic nutrients. Synthetic nutrients. Yeah. And then, you know, the Heavy 16, General Hydroponics, Botanic Care, there's a lot of other ones. And a lot of people use this stuff, not making your or my cup of tea, but still a way to grow. But a lot of the problems you have with these are they can be difficult to control. You can overcook your plants and have a real problem. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that we use as part of using nectar is stuff that works pretty well with this too. Right. So let's talk a little bit about that. So say you're doing this and you, you're not ready to move off of this situation, sure. but you want to start moving into some more uh, naturally derived stuff and some of those things, see what you can do with that. What would you say would be your first step with that? Well, first step I would do is incorporate um, some type of a, a, a nectar booster to, mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. synthetics. Like the full on? Like full on. <laughs> what? Um, I add SLF. SLF. And you know, it doesn't hurt ever to add the Herculean harvest. Uh huh. To your regimen too. You okay. can you, a lot of people power feed. They're in three gallon pots, okay. and they're feeding literally every single day with the synthetic nutrient lines. Okay, and not to, to culture too your stuff. Right. So you can use. So there's a few different ways you can enhance synthetic nutrient lines. So what I would like to start with is the Herc. If you're looking to increase your yields, mm -hmm. you're looking to dissolve some of the problems that they can create. Uh -huh. Herculean harvest is a great way to add yield, a okay. great way to add flavor, and a great way to kind of amend some of the problems that you know high part per million can cause. Okay. So okay. we can kind of control that and kind of regulate it a little bit. Now are we talking about hydroponic systems or growing in uh, soil with this stuff or what are what all all the above? Cocoa, uh, -huh. uh you know, rock wool, rock wool. Yeah, okay. totally. Yeah. Um, you don't want to go hard with the nectar on rock wool because it does kind of dissolve. It. But okay, in general, her Herculean harvest is a great additive to add to any any synthetic nutrient line. Okay. Um, the next thing I would do is incorporate a tea once a week. The cool thing is you can use the nectar, the, the Herculean harvest, with the the easy teas once a week in between your feedings. You don't have to stop changing anything you're doing. Okay. Keep feeding like you normally sure, do sure. with uh -huh. the with the synthetic lines. Okay. Just once a week at a easy tea along with Herculean harvest, and you now have a, a, a beefed up organic okay. tea to kind of add a, a semi-organic approach to your We're synthetic We're looking for uh, better quality Higher yield. Higher yield. Um, better stuff. Yeah, that's the advantage we're quality. looking for when we're doing this kind of situation. Right. So the first step I would do if I was running a synthetic nutrient line is I'd make sure I incorporate like an instant compost tea, something that's commercially viable, a commercial inoculant along with Herculean harvest. Okay. Um, the second step what I would do is the full on and the SLF. So the full on is quite an amazing product and anyone using synthetics, I, I highly, highly recommend you pick up some full on. And the reason why is because it's a, it, it's an acceleration uptake product. So okay. it, it allows uh, it, it, a bunch of minerals, salts, trace elements to be literally injected and pushed into the plant. Okay. What we can do with this, you're like, awesome. I can get more things on my plant so it can grow faster. Sure. Huh? But the idea is, you can use your fertilizers more efficiently, oh. causing 
By you, efficiently, you mean use less? Yes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Causing you to use less fertilizers uh -huh. in the end. Okay. So I'm gonna get more full, use out of. Yeah, you're gonna get more use okay. out of your 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 fertilizer. So the full on is a great way to reduce your inputs. You can actually reduce all your fertilizers by 40% with full on. And in fact, on the back of the label, it says, make sure you use this with half half the amount of fertilizer you normally use. So you figure out what you're doing. You may be able to push harder, but you want to be safe that you're not going to... Right. Yeah. So the cool thing about full on is you can use less product. Everything's about the dollar now. Mm -hmm. We all have to make sure we optimize our costs. Sure. And full on is an amazing way, not only for any organic user, but also for any synthetic user to reduce your cost. You can literally reduce your inputs in half. Wow. And so with that being said, full on should literally be in every synthetic program. We don't, you know, we want to get people moving into more of a, a high quality, high yielding mm -hmm. Uh, spectrum of growing, right? Okay. Um, so full on is great at increasing quality. It actually magnetically pulls out the heavy metals out of the plant. Okay. And allows all the things uh -huh. that you need to go in the plant, all the nutritional elements to be uptake easier and a little bit better. So if you're pushing in, you know, 10 mils a gallon of whatever, uh -huh. you can cut back to five mils a gallon. Wow. Of your feeds. Uh -huh. So it's a very, if you, as we're trying to reduce costs and increase optimization and increase efficiency mm -hmm. of our products, Full on no is your go-to. It has no brainer. Okay. Full on is your go-to for increasing efficiency and increasing the effectiveness of your product. So I'm looking at this, and I mean, compared to your your nutrient program, it's probably a small cost, but it's not an inexpensive product. How much of this are you actually going to use? How much is something like this going to last you? What would you be doing? I use two mils, two milliliters a gallon. Wow. Of it. Okay. So I mean, I mix up a five-gallon bucket, and I use two teaspoons. Okay. So one of these bottles is probably going to last me two, three, four runs almost in my, in my personal garden. And we're not talking about with your feeding regimen, we're talking about a couple times a week you're doing that. I'm, I'm doing usually about once a week. Okay, okay, cool. Once a week I'll do like a little, a goodie push, uh -huh. pretty much, and the once nice. a week will be with my full on, with my trigger, along with my feeds. Okay. So it's just kind of a, a um, that, uh, an acceleration product, kind of accelerates everything into the plant. Just kind of makes it all go up. Okay, so it's making it more efficient as going to the plant, but also I'm probably uh, using it quicker as before it dissipates in my system or it runs out the bottom of my cocoa. Right, and so it's just, just going to uh, perpetuate the elements, ionically, you know, stimulate the elements uh -huh. in your soil, all your feeds, so like, you know, you're putting in tons of ionic compounds with synthetic nutrients into the okay, soil. Okay, yeah. It's reacting with those ions and causing them to go up into the plant faster. Well, at the same time, it's pulling heavy metals that you don't want in there. It causes it to be hard right, uh -huh. to be pulled back down into the medium and actually bind them to the medium so wow. the plant can't take it up again. Wow. So it's actually making your, your, your product, your either recreation or your uh -huh. medical product, it's making it cleaner. So not just a, not just a uh, save money on your nutrients, but a quality enhancement to your... Uh your experience with it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a lot of uh, fulvic humic acids, it's a lot of hydro hydrolyzed fish, it's, it's also a, a trace minerals, and it's a, it's a nano biostimulant. So they've taken a lot of good stuff and made it real small yep. so that it goes up into it real easy and, and pulls along your, your nutrients with it. Right, exactly. Wow. So we can get, like a, uh, imagine like a booster shot. Okay, it's just getting a booster shot into the plant okay. with everything inside your, your medium that you're putting in there. Okay. So I wouldn't, if I was using synthetics, uh -huh. I wouldn't grow synthetics without full on. Wow. First and just wow. in general. It is the okay. most crucial part of your synthetic regimen once you adapt it into there. Holy moly. It, okay. It's incredible. Um, the next thing is, you know, we always get some salt buildup with some synthetics. Well, sure. Yeah. PPMs can rise up and you have to flush it out and, you know, your chest, your runoff, and you're off like, Seven, nine, it's creeping up on me, creeping up on me, creeping up on me. And you're going to yeah. see the salt build up, the crust build up on your your pots of like, it looks like yeah. table salt, right? Sure, 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 yeah. So SLF 100 is a microbial enzyme product that loves salt. And the fact that it loves salt means it's going to keep everything solubilized and prevent the buildup. So are you saying not just good for my plant, but also good for cleaning my system out? Exactly. Okay. So, so first and well, I would... So the core of it is the synthetic fertilizers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do we make them function better? Mm -hmm. This is the base of it. So okay. if I was using synthetics, these are my these are my additives to go along with my synthetics. Now, after I reduce my inputs and I get better uh, salt uh, dissipation, mm -hmm. better salt dissolution, then I want to boost the synthetic regimen a little bit, and that's okay. when I'll do the herc and the, the teas. Oh, okay. But First and foremost, you really want the synthetics with the full on and the SLF. That makes sure everything moves properly, the plant takes it in properly, you don't have any negative reactions. Like you said, it can oh, burn, okay. it can cause all that stuff. All right, so, so these are utilities 
And now we're starting to say, hey, let's take the synthetic and bring it up and just starting to go toward more of a natural thing. Right. That's your culture. That's your neck. Yeah. So okay. we wanna, so the idea with synthetics is reduce costs. So you sure. can use less fertilizer. You have less problems, less buildup with the SLF. Okay. Then from there, we want to boost up the quality. We want right. to take it up a notch and still keep the, main, okay. the same quality of your right. price. I mean, you're not really ready to switch anyways. So mm -hmm. let's make whatever you're doing sure. the most efficient and uh -huh. effective uh -huh. possible. Okay. So that being said, efficiency is this core right here, and then we can boost some results with the teas and the Herculean harvest. That's awesome. So simple, and it's such a good stepstone in order to either make it more efficient or work your way towards naturals and organics. So there's probably a lot more to say about this, I would assume, but this is the base: is that these are some good products that you can use to start. If you're if you're not if you're going to stay with your 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 synthetics forever, you still want to use this stuff. If you don't want to start moving in a direction towards a more natural thing. You want to start looking at this stuff. Start incorporating a little more. Okay. You don't have to completely change and make yourself yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You can kind of do a stair step. So this is a really easy way to kind of stair step the amount okay. of products, synthetic products you use, uh -huh. and it kind of increase and boost the amount of natural and organic products. Okay. Not only does it reduce costs, but also increases the quality. And in a market where the cost is being driven down, the sure. only way you can really compete is by increasing the quality. So that's yeah. the name of the game, is to see how we can increase the quality and increase the cleanliness of the medicine and the recreational products on the market. Very cool, very cool. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so that was fun. I hope you uh, found that valuable, useful to you. That's the show for today. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to either do recycling soil or we're going to get to those viewer questions. But uh, something happening tomorrow. I love you. That's the show for today. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the code OCGFAM2018. You're going to save 20% and it'll be a lot of fun. So just, just do that. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.